Psalm chapter 33, verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose power is the Lord and the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Blessed is that nation. All right? Singular. It ain't talking about everybody. Blessed is that nation. Home is the Lord's inheritance, man. All right? Who is that nation? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Hebrew Israelites. Out of all the nations that the Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying, created, He only loved one. We're going to prove that according to the Bible. Once again, Psalms, which, which has already been proven. You nations can't build with us. You have nothing to do with our inheritance. All right? You have nothing to do with the covenant. Nothing. You trying to wiggle your way in. You can't wiggle your way in, all right? You can't be grafted in. Stop it. Stop it. And when the Lord comes, he's going to show you who his people is, all right? Who his chosen nation is. All this confusion. All this madness. Because the wicked is ruling right about now, man. So all this madness, all this confusion. Everybody think they can get in. You know? Just hopscotch their way right on into the kingdom. No, man. The kingdom of heaven is going to be when the Israelites rule. You other nations, you had your time to rule. Sleaze to eat, you ruling now. You're not going to rule now then in the kingdom. You're going to rule again. Are you stupid? Psalms 33, 12. Blessed is the nation. Singular. No S on it. All right? No S on it. Whose power is the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the people whom he have chosen for his own inheritance. Let's get a precept for that. Let's see who's the Lord's inheritance. Let's see according to the Bible, right? We go over this all the time, but it's all about repetitiveness. You got you got brand new, um, you got new Israelites waking up to the faith, and, and they're confused right about now on who's the chosen, who's the kingdom for, who's the covenant for. Because they're up in them churches, you know what I'm saying? Them church pastors, you know what I'm saying? Got them confused. And these false prophets got them confused. But let's read this, though. This plain. Everything that I'm reading is plain. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 9. King James Version. For the Lord's portion is his people. His people, possessive, right? Not the whole world. Listen, Jacob, which represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Look, Jacob. This plain, right? Jacob. Not the whole world. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So who's the chosen nation of the earth? Israel. Jacob, which name was changed to Israel. The Israelites, man. You can't get no plainer. I got to read that again. Get no plainer than that, man. Deuteronomy 32, 9. All this confusion going on. The scriptures speak for itself. For the Lord's portion. For Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance, man. And the Lord that told you a thousand times that you nations don't mean nothing to him. Why do you keep ignoring the scriptures? That's the only thing you nations do. You know, you, you keep ignoring the scriptures, man. You ain't going to be able to keep ignoring them forever, though. You, you're not going to be able to always ignore the scriptures, man. You know? The Lord making moves, 50 people killed in military plane crash. Man, it's going down, man. You know, shootings overnight. It's going down. The Lord going to get rid of the wicked of our nation. And he's going to deliver the elect. And look, when the kingdom of heaven is established on the face of the earth, building-wise and structural-wise, you heathens are going to get put to work. Isaiah 40, 17. All nations before him are as nothing. And they accounted to him less than nothing. But he just said he chose Israel. But he but he compares you other nations to nothing, man. Y'all want to be something so bad. Y'all got the money, the cars, the clothes, the fortune, the fame. But guess what? You're still nothing in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And it only because, son, look, you're nothing in our eyes. You own the buildings that we work for. We got to go to work and work for you. But you're still nothing in the eyes of your house. Joel. 
chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, a people before us a place. This is the Heavenly Father speaking, who you really call God, the Most High Yahweh. And that I am the Lord, your power, your power, your power, your power, your power. How many times do the Lord got to say it? And none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Look, and my people, my people, look, not the whole world. Stop it. Look, look, just, how, why don't you just stop it? Why, why? Why don't you just stop it, man? You, look, you, you're not going to stop it, so we're just going to bring out the scriptures. We're going to make it plain upon tables. We're just going to bring out the scriptures and let it ride. Look, bring out the scriptures and let it ride, right? Isaiah 45. It's 17. And it reads, but Israel, a people before us a place, but Israel. Negroes, Latins, Native American Indians, speckled birds, the Israelites has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But Israel shall be saved. What? How many times the Lord got to say it, man? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Which once again consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Yes, so-called Latinos and Native American Indians are Hebrew Israelites. It's not a black thing, all right? It's not a black thing. What an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed. Then we just read that in Joel. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end, man. All right? And that's that precept to John 3.16. That's the precept to John 16, man. 3.16. The one, the one that y'all run to, y'all, y'all, y'all run to that scripture quick, man. But don't even understand it. Y'all don't understand the breakdown of it, even though you run to it. You run to it, and then when we break it down, you run from it. Which one is it? You either gonna run to it or run from it. Which one is it, man? Make up your mind, man. Okay. Make up your mind. Jeremiah three, twenty two. Return. Ye black, you backsliding children, the children of Israel, and I will heal your backsliding. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Truly in vain is salvation hope from the hills, which represents the other nations. You know what I'm saying? Them expecting salvation is vain, man. All right? And look, look, and from the multitude of the mountains. Truly, look, look, truly in the Lord our power. Is salvation. Look, look, I want to read that correctly. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh our power is the salvation of Israel. Israel, 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 Israel. Uh, how, many, how many times? How many times must I read? Just a quick lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It's all about Israel. Once again, you know, again, the Lord has a, has a favorite land. He has a favorite people. He has a favorite plant. He has a favorite river. He has a favorite, man. The, look, you can have your favorites, but the Lord, he can't, he can't have favorites, right? He, he's got to, you're going to make the Lord love what you want him to love, right? Amos 5, 4. For thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei, I was shy unto the house of Israel. Israel, man, seek ye me and ye shall live. Look. The house of Israel, not everybody, not every Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, or Mo, right? Only Israel, you know? Look, remember, Israel is that peculiar people, right? Let's, matter of fact, let's get that right quick. Let's get that, man. A quick little lesson through the spirit of your house, by Shemel Shai, Lord, one of the elect is edified. Don't let nobody have you thinking different either. The Lord said what he said, he said what he said, he meant what he said, he changed not. But we'll, we'll get that too. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art in holy people. That's to the Lord thy power. Meaning the Israelites, right? The Lord thy power has chosen thee. They, they go again. The Lord thy power has chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself. Once again, unto himself. A special people unto himself. Above all the people. Above all these other nations, right? That are upon the face of the earth, man. All right? You, you ain't getting around that scripture right there. I'm still in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 14. And it feels so good. We're at the bottom right about now. But what that mean? We're going to rule soon come. We're going to rule soon come. Look, with a rod. With a rod of iron. Look, when it, we have that first wave, right? Deuteronomy 14, too. For thou art in holy people separate. The Lord made us separate. Until the Lord thy power. 
And the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above. Ain't no such thing as equality above all the nations that are upon the earth. Look, can you get around that? Can you get around that? Look, we're the salt of the earth. We're the best at everything. That's not by coincidence. That's not, that's not by coincidence that we're the best at everything. You know? These nations use us. Look, and we're not just talking about entertainment, yo. We're talking about in math. You know what I'm saying? In medicine. You know? Everything, man. Everything. Once again, everything, everything. Psalms chapter 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. A people before us a place. Look, he did. He did. He have not dealt so with any nations because the nations are nothing to him, right? They spit. They spit them. And as far as judgment, they have not known them. Praise you the Lord. So the old covenant, the new covenant, come on, man. Look, 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 must I go on? I'm, I'm, I'm pressed for time, man, so I'll bring one more. I, the point has been proven, man. I, look, I, I will bring one more. What, 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 I need, what I need to bring? Just tell, tell me what, what other scripture do I need to bring to prove to you that it's all about the Israelites? What, what else? What else? We're going through rough waters right about now, but the Lord still got his eyes on Israel. You know, let's get this right quick. I'm, I'm going to end it with this. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. The Lord is saying this. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, with everybody, with the house of Israel, with everybody, with the house of Israel, with everybody, with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah, all twelve tribes, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. He didn't leave every nation out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Here we go again with the house of Israel, 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 Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. We'll never go off again. We'll never, do you hear that Israel? We will never go off ever again. All right. And I will put my laws in their mind and write them and write them in their heart and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people man okay and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest and you ain't getting around it and I, I want to close it off with Malachi because maybe the Lord changed it's 2021 right the nations can join the building, right? They can join the process, right? Hey, let's see according to the Bible, right? Because you just never know. It's 2021. You just never know. The Lord might have changed, huh? Hey, hey, you just never know. Let's see if he changed according to the Bible. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord Yahweh. I change not. For I am the Lord Yahweh. I change not. I change not. I change not. I change not. How many times I got to read that? I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob. Hear a what? Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, what? Therefore, what? Therefore, what? 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 Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Shalom.